Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Although it should be mini Fujit's Blitz because this video is about him, the Georgie. Say hello, Georgie. Hello. And what is your in game name? Mini Fujit. And we're going to do a video on Mini Fujit because he's been playing the game quite a lot and uh, he's done some pretty good games recently, which we're going to see. And he's very proud of them. And I've got his stats on the screen. Now, before anybody starts saying, oh, but Mini Fuji is in the noob queue. Well, that's because he hasn't been playing that long. And he's only, well, 12 and a half. But, I mean, he enjoys the game. Do you enjoy the game? Yeah, I do. Why do you enjoy the game? Because it's a fun way to basically, how, how do I say this? Not experience reality, but having fun at the same time. So do you have favourite tanks? Yeah. And what are your favourite tanks? Uh, the mouse, the grill, and the E100. And you have none of those tanks on your account? Yeah. So they're your favourite tanks, yet you've never played them on your account. You've played them in an open test, but never on your account. How can they be your favourite tanks if you don't play them? No, but I, 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 did, play, I did play them on the, in the training rooms, remember? On the birthday. Yeah, but that's not real. So let's be honest. What are your what tanks do you generally play a lot on your actual account? Um, the Chimera because I love that tank. The Chieftain uh, T ninety five and the Skoda uh, T fifty six. And I I also am grinding the um, VK one hundred P now. Okay, so anyway, we've got his stats up. As you can see, he's done three thousand two hundred and twenty five battles. He has a 50% win rate, an average damage of 968, with his most damage being 4,290. Pretty good accuracy at 82.06%. But he's a new player, and he's not a re-roll. It's not like he's got a 70, he's got a 58% uh, account and he's re-rolled. He's a genuine new player. And we're just going to have a look at two of his recent replays that he's very, very chuffed about. And to be honest with you, so am I. Uh, and I, I know that's a little bit biased, but before... Without any further ado, let's jump into the first replay of Georgie playing the Chimera. So here we have Georgie rolling out on Ghost Factory in the Chimera, the Tier 8 premium tank. It's a premium tank, isn't it? Yeah. Um, British medium. It's a medium tank, remember that. So Georgie, what is your game plan in this game? Well, What's your, what, are you, what are your opening thoughts? Well, first I want to get on uh, a place where well my tank is best suited like with gun depression, and I found my spot. And I don't really know Enemy um, how do I explain this. I don't know why the they pushed because uh, they got shot, and I didn't go the other way because I I went the other way in the in previous games, and I died. So I wanted to sort of change my strategy in this uh, game. Okay, so how many? You've had quite a few games in this tank. Yeah. Yeah, and so you know how to play this one. Yeah. What do you think's good about this tank? Uh, first of all, the gun depression's amazing. Uh, the speed is fantastic. Uh, the armor it's it's well suited for the tank. You can't have like very good armor for a medium tank. Bit of a dodgy shot though, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but the only minor issue I have is the cupola. I know my dad says it's it's fine, but personally, if Morgan you could make it a little bit smaller, it would be perfect. So, what what are you doing now? What what's your what's your what's going through your mind? I'm uh, I went to kill the IS to get the low hit point tank, and uh, I saw that the, there are these two tanks, and I wanted to basically go for the low hit point one. Uh, the Centurion actually misses this shot. I get quite lucky. So I put a shot into him here. And then I know he's dead, so I leave him to well, basically be killed by my teammate. And I see that the ISU needs help, so I get extremely lucky that I, sh I kill him right before he killed the ISU. Okay, so it's three against five. You're in control here. What, what are you thinking of doing now? Well, I'm seeing, I've seen this tiger, so I put a shot into him now because he had turned his turret. And I know that the KB4 can take care of him, and I see that, that the 53 TP needs help with the louver. Uh, so I leave the KB4 to deal with the tiger for now. 
and I go help the the 53 TP. This is good a, shot. <laughs> uh, I I I I didn't aim. I'm gonna be honest. That was a horrible shot. This time I do aim, and uh, keep the blue was eventually taken out. And here, I don't go for the tiger. I go for the um. I go for the board stick because... Well, you're aiming at the tiger. No, no. And no. you shoot the tiger. Yeah, I shoot the tiger. I reload in time because that that I assume he's going to get killed if he if he goes for the board stick. So I want to help him out. So I... Yeah, I don't name, but I hit the shot. Just out of interest, why didn't you use HE on the board stick? Oh, because I was too focused on ramming him. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So I, I rammed him, obviously. Uh, and then the tiger is left, so I don't I have no idea how he tracked me there. Uh, so the tiger is now focused on me, but now he's focused on another tank, and I get uh, quite lucky because uh, he missed his shot. Uh, when he's about to shoot now, he and he he he. he, he Finished being focused on me, he started being focused on the KD4, and here he turns a star, which, which gave me access to shooting him in a star. Ah. So you get five kills, 3,350 damage. You happy with that game? And of course, you get a mastery. Yeah. Well done. Where's well, your first mastery on this tank, yeah? Yeah. And of course, you get some decent credits. But here's the interesting thing, uh, boys and girls. So on the other side, I'm not going to show you, but uh, they're all, two of those players are 70 percenters, okay? Admittedly, they've got low battle counts, but they're 70 percenters. One's a 76 percenter, one's a 72 percenter. Now, that could be one of two things. It could be that they've just come out of their bot queue, and the bot's queue does allow you to get pretty inflated win rates, or they could be re-rolls. The thing is, we went through the teams. I'm not going to show you them. And the team that Georgie was facing against... They were far better on paper than George's team. And I think Georgie was the second best win rate on his team. Whereas the other team, they were all over 50% apart from one player. So that's a pretty good game, yeah? Yeah. And you're happy with that? Because you've been playing that tank a lot, correct? Yeah, I, I have grinded, I think, 700,000 XP on it by now. Oh, excellent. So let's have a look at your next replay. Okay, so this is the next replay, and Georgie is in a tank that I personally don't like, the T28 Defender. Another premium tank, this time a TD, sitting in the American line. So what are your thoughts on this tank, Georgie? What do you think about this tank? Personally, it has great armor, a great gun, but the, the only issue with this tank is that the Coppola is way too big. And I don't have, I have no idea how I hit that truck because that was meant to miss completely. So I, at the start, I eventually trade off some a few shots. And as soon th this IS six personally, he kept sticking uh, his frontal armor out, and I kept shooting him. And he he tried to side scrape, and it, it wasn't working. So why did you go to this position? Take us through your, your thought process and your gameplay sort of strategy here. Because, well, my tank, I'm a TD, and my tank uh, doesn't have a lot of HP. So I, here, in this position, I can shoot, roll back, reload, shoot, roll back, re reload, shoot. Basically, that's my strategy here. But you've already lost quite a bit of HP there. Yeah. And uh, was that concerning you? Uh, no, not really, because I knew that if uh, any of the tanks pushed, they would be pretty much eliminated. I mean, the IS-6, if he pushed, he would get absolutely smacked by our team. Okay, so it's got a long reload, this tank. It's got pretty decent damage when it knocks it out, but its DPM isn't fantastic. So, I know you said about the Coppola, but what is it... You know, why do you actually like this tank? A lot of people don't. Um, a lot of people think it's been power crept. A good shot on the IS-6, by the way. Well, it's it's mostly because of the um, the armor and the gun. The the gun, it's it's fan fantastic. If, if the re I know Wargaming made, made the reload uh, a little bit longer because I mean, if it was shorter, it would be pretty much insane. Uh, but the armor on the thing, I couldn't even penetrate it. When I was on uh, 
when I was like in a different game, I couldn't penetrate it in the Chimera. Hmm. That friendly that is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this poor IS six. So he was trying to side scrape, and you were just waiting for him, yeah. Yeah. And you were very happy about that. Yeah. So you, you're winning this game at the moment. They've got four against well, it's it's four against five. So you're not doing too badly. And uh, why are you not pushing? Just out of interest. Uh, because that eighty fifteen he has, um, he can he has the reload on me, which is why I'm not pushing. And there plus there's an uh, an AMX there, which who also has the reload on me, but he doesn't have the armor. Plus I'm not gonna risk shooting him, cause uh, I'll lose I'll lose a, a shell. And that's why you didn't shoot in there. Yeah. Because you're worried that it was gonna sort of just miss and go somewhere else. Yeah, and I wanted to conserve conserve my shells if an enemy comes. Okay, so I mean, like I said, they're very low hit. Oh, this this looks interesting. So you waited for it. Well done. That's a good, good shot. So you're now at 3,824. It's three against five. Should you consider pushing now, though, Georgie? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'm only worried about... I'm not worried about AMX. I'm worried about uh, the Jag Tig because he can... Um, I don't know He can basically, like, destroy me easily. And about around now, I do get smacked by him well I smacked the AMX first and break his engine but around now I get smacked by him and I'm actually kind of scared because Oof. yeah I'm so close to dying and I'm ex extraordinarily lucky that he uh, my teammate killed him because uh, otherwise I would have been dead not necessarily I think he reloaded in time but that's 4290 bounced 715 you took two kills what are you gonna get for that well Another mastery. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Why? Because I've been trying to get a mastery in uh, most of my tanks for quite a while, and it's been pretty difficult for me. And th this this is a very big achievement for me because the first mastery I ever got was in the Excelsior. I got lucky because I was in a low tier game, but. As I'm going up to uh, up the tiers, it's starting to get um, like I'm starting to play with real players, and it it's it's a very big achievement for me when I get a mastery. Well, again, congrats! It's a great play. But let's just put something into perspective here. So I'm just sticking up the Hall of Fame here now. Unfortunately, because Georgie has less than five thousand five hundred battles, he is not allowed to enter the Hall of Fame because. They set it, Blitzstar set the Hall of Fame as over 5,500, mainly because of the amount of re-rolls. And they didn't want to therefore allow re-rolls to, to sort of submit things. But as I said, Georgie is not a re-roll. And in the T28 Defender there, he did 4,290. And as you can see, had he been allowed to enter the Hall of Fame, he would be number one on that tank on the EU server. How does that make you feel? very very annoyed why because um you've entered the hall of fame quite a while yeah mm -hmm. and this is pretty much the first tank i've uh I've played which could have entered the hall of fame but since uh but since um i'm not allowed to go in because i have below 5500 battles i'm not in the hall of fame which is pretty annoying <laughs> it's pretty annoying yeah i can feel for you there so, great game though, and had you have had the battles, it would have been in the Hall of Fame. So, very, very unlucky. So, I mean, personally, really, those are two fantastic games. It's really unlucky that he, he can't put the T28 Defender into the Hall of Fame. It would have been a crowning achievement, and it would have been something that Geordie would have been really chuffed about. But he's not an upcoming player, and as a, as a new player, and as a young player... It looks like he's getting a good grasp of the game and how it should be played, which, to be perfectly honest with you, some of the uh, more experienced players out there don't seem to have the same kind of uh, awareness within the battle. I, I'm pretty chuffed, and I know I'm biased because obviously I'm his dad, but I think you'll agree that his gameplay there was pretty spot on. He, he did the right things, he played the right moves, he's got his tactics down, and he's growing into a pretty decent player, despite what his win rate may say. What do you think, Georgie, mm. about the game and, and how you're progressing? I'm, pre I'm pretty happy with them because 
I mean, since day one as I started playing this game, um, I've been quite obsessed with getting a mastery as soon as I knew what it was. I tried to get one in the Matilda, but I failed. <laughs> Unfortunate. Anyway, well, that has been Mini Fujit's, uh, well, two replays that he's very happy about. I've been Fujit. Well, I'd like to hear more about you. What do you think? How, how do you rate his awareness and his battles? I mean, I'm pretty happy with them. I think they're going, you know, I think he's playing exceptionally well. But uh, I'll leave the last word to Mini Fujit here. What have you got to say to everybody out there? If you're a new player and you really want to get to the top, you need patience. A lot of patience. And in some battles, I don't have that. But in some, like this one, I do. And that that's what you need, patience. Because pa if you wait for something, if you do something good, then something good will happen to you. And this is an example of that. Anyway, like I said, two great games. And uh, congratulations to Mini Fujit. So until the next time, guys, love to hear your comments on this one. And until then, I'll stay the usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun and being happy. Do you have fun, and are you happy? Yes and yes. <laughs>